Hey guys, Iggy here. Come at you with my tips and tricks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna print these out fast. I don't really want this to be a 50 minute video. I made this before, it was 50 minutes long. So I'm gonna try to get this down to 10. I'm gonna be going rapid fire here. All right guys, first tip, first tip. When you install the game, let the installer go with a full duration. Don't stop and start the installer. Just let it download on one fell swoop. You'll save yourself a lot of errors a long time. It's happened to me a couple times. And every time I let, I let it install, all at once, I never have any problems. Next thing, if you get error 2025, just, it's okay. It, it's just, it, your, your, your glyph is not connecting to the internet or something. So what I do is I just go browse the internet for 10 minutes, I come back, I open glyph again, it works every time without fail. All right, all right. Uh, now, what race to pick? I get this question a lot. What, what race should I pick? What race should I pick? Now, there are four races. There's the West, the Elves, and humans. Pick the Elves. Humans' racial sucks. You know, the Elves' racials are nice for swimming and in the ocean and stuff. You're not gonna gank me, dude. Ha! Ah, shuck it! There's another good tip. If someone attacks you, run to guards! Ha! Ah, shuck it, nerd! Shuck it! Alright, uh, if you're on the East, you're, you're picking Harani or Furion. Pick Furion. You get reduced fall damage. If you don't care about mid-maxing your character, pick whatever. When you're leveling up, make sure to overachieve quests. You know, let's say some quests give you, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you need to kill like 10 spiders and then the spiders are really rare and it's, it's hard to do. You can underachieve it, you can play it normally, or you can overachieve it for extra XP. So that, that those are your three options. So you get less XP, normal XP, extra XP. You know, often, if it's, if it's a, a you kill three, kill three guards. If you kill five, you'll overachieve it for, for like an extra like 30, 40% XP. That's really, really nice. Another good way to earn XP is using hidden quests. I have a map here. I'll open it in a second. Basically, it shows hidden quests. It shows quest item drops. And it shows signposts, which have little quests, which are very obvious. You can see them. They're not really hidden. I'll link that description down below. I'll, the website, website, website is not loading right now. It's very self-explanatory. It has little circles on in your zone. Oh, wait, it's, it's opening. Yay. Hey, let, me, let me capture this. There you go. So, do, 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 as you can see, uh, is this the right one? I think so. Yeah, it is. All right, so you could go to a hidden job. You go down here. All right, let's choose this one. Click, click on the circle. The blue means hidden quest. Click on the circle, it has a picture. He's clicking on spiders. You can't really read it, but it's pretty obvious. Kill spiders. You kill no spiders, you get the hidden quest. This one, by the way, sucks. Don't do this one. It takes like 50 spiders, man. Now there's the signpost, which is yellow. Has another picture. Real easy. And there should be red circles. Wherever those are. Yeah. Yeah. There's not showing up on this side. They're showing up on this side. I don't know why they're not showing up on the one. The east move. It's a bug currently. And I'm pretty sure this gives you a quest item. I guess it drops from these dudes, and he's mousing over it in his inventory. Looks like a little circle with a check mark. Just do it. <gasps> Copyright. Anyways, yeah, do, do those quests. <coughs> It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of pain in, in, in higher level zones. All right, let's keep going. Fast, 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 fast. All right, next tip. Keep your mount out when you're leveling up. You know, your mount needs XP too. Higher XP means better skills, and it means it goes faster, and you can wear higher, higher level armor. Yes, you can equip your mount with armor. Where do you buy armor from? You buy it from the Stable Master. The Stable Master also revives your pet. Where's the Stable Master? Go into Merchants. Make sure that's checked. Down to Stable Master. So stable Hand. And bam, he's right there. He sells you armor for your, for your mount, and he can revive your pet. Bam, done. All right. You want to make sure that they're out. You want to make sure you level your donkey early to 20. If you get your donkey to 20, it gives them this ability here. Dreaming donkey. 30% faster with a, with a trade pack. Really helpful. Get it. Get it early. It will help you so much. All right? But yeah, always keep a mount out while you're leveling up. Or battle pet. But battle pets suck. Don't bother with that. <laughs> That's another tip. Don't bother with battle pets. They suck. Not to get some really, really rare ones or something. All right, next tip. Pick your classes early. You don't want to like be mixing around classes every every two levels. You're gonna have like under leveled care under level classes. 
Now with patch 1.2, they've lowered the XP gain, so you can probably level six trees at a time if you really wanted to, but that costs gold, and I suggest you just stick with three or four trees and just go with that. Now classes in general. You want to combos. Combos, combos, combos. The game revolves around combos. Certain spells do a certain amount of damage. So I'm going to go over to horse over here. I'm going to use Arc Lightning. It does 2,000 damage. damage. It does 43% extra with Electric Shock. This is uncomboed. It did 6.4k critical damage. 6,400. 6, Let's do the same thing. I want to get a non crit. We'll, we'll try this one. So I'll use Chain Lightning, which will give it a, a, a dot, which will increase it by 43% damage. So we'll do Chain Lightning into Arc Lightning. And that crit for 8,900 damage. So you can see there's a pretty large gap. 8,900 and 6,400. So yeah, you know, it's, it's a couple thousand damage difference. It seemed, it seemed like it was kind of low on that spectrum. It's usually just around 3k difference in between combos. Show you guys one more combo. Combos are really important. I can't stress this enough. There are a lot of, there are a lot of class combinations. There are 120 possible combinations. Only as maybe like 10 are viable. So, you know, people like to do 120 combos. No, not really. A lot of them suck balls. So, I mean, right on Alpha, most people play the same specs. It's, it's kind of boring. I'm playing something different. I'm playing an, an Arcanist. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Bubble. If the target is burning, it throws them higher in the air. So, Fireball for the... Uh, Combo effect. He's gonna go way high in the air. I can get underneath him. I can drop my buffs and point him in the face. Yeah, splat. Something like that. All right, this guy might drop a coin purse. Is he gonna drop a coin purse? It's not. So let's see if I can get a coin purse here. Let's cast a meteor. Yeah, keybinds. I guess these guys no longer drop loot. I guess they're too close to the town. Ah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, yeah, keybinds. Key uh, combos are very important. Keybinds also very important. Bind your keys, guys. Don't be a clicker. Do not be a clicker. I, I clicked a couple items, a couple things, but you should, you should all be bound to different knots. Uh, next tip use even stones. Hurry up here. Use even stones. You don't want to vendor your gear. You want to use these on your gear. It has to be green, green and above, green and above. Basically, you break it down for materials. Even stones, even stones cost money, but you can sell the materials for a lot. So make sure you break down your gear. Do not vendor it. It's a huge mistake I made. Uh, if you get things like coin purses, you can shift right click to auto cast them. That's very, very helpful. You can go do that and go take a poo or something, or I don't know. Go color your wife. Don't get divorced because you're playing too much Arc Age. That was forgot. Always rebind your recall ability. Uh, Yin is a very good place. It's very near to the house. You know, way gate, world gate. I suggest do binding here. Uh, don't don't focus too much on your house. You want to get your plot laid down early, but I mean, building it up really really fast is not a good idea. You better off building a farm. I think something like a farmhouse is really expensive, and yeah, it's, get your get your plot reserved. And you'll be okay. If you are looking for a group for a dungeon, which yeah, make sure it's a good group because you lose XP when you die. Uh, use faction chat. There's no group finder in the game. Know your safe zones. So, you know, if a zone is blue. Not blue, if it's, uh. If you mess over it and it doesn't show anything, that means it's peaceful. If it's red, it means it's a, it's gankable. Anyone from either faction can kill you. Now, let's, let's say you see a pirate or someone from the West faction in Arkham Iris. This is a PvP protected zone. If you right click them, you will auto attack them, and they can auto attack you back. So, you know, if you see a red, don't panic, don't attack them, just keep on walking. Keep on walking, Bina. It'll be fine. Another thing is hidden farms. Early in the game, people need large amounts of lumber and other farm farming materials. People like to go to the hills, like here inside the forest, or to, to the east of Hasla in here. Hard to get to spots, and they plant trees illegally. Go there and take their stuff. 
be ruthless and take their stuff and earn money. They're they're planting outside their outside their farms. They're taking the risk. You have no liability on that. You know, it's it's, it's their risk. So go take their stuff. I know I will. Uh, another trick is bidding on soon to expire auctions. Next little bit, so I'll bid the auction house. Let's say I want some barley. All right, so the price of barley is one one silver, seventy copper. So I'll sort by time. One, oh look, I can I can bid on for ninety nine copper, or twenty copper per. So I saved myself quite a big chunk of money there just by bidding on these. And the same thing for gear. So armor. Something easy waste waste belts usually cheap. All right, so. Maybe, maybe, maybe looking for a belt. These are kind of expensive. Let's look at the rares. No real rares. Okay, well, how about... Hands. Right, maybe you want to buy illustrious blade gloves, right? They're selling for about 45-ish gold apiece. That's the buy. But you could bid on it for 39 gold. So if you wait a couple hours, or 40 gold, you can, you can save yourself you know, 5 to 10 gold by bidding on stuff and waiting a couple hours. It's a very important strict strategy. But the strategy is using bids to snipe. So the Toffer usually sells around you know 3.5. But I've listed one here at 31 copper. So if someone like me right clicks my Yatoffer, goes to sell it, they'll be selling for 31 copper per instead of you know, 3 silver 50 copper per. People like to bid snipe this way. Not bid snipe, but to kind of force the market down. You know, I risk one Yatafer, but someone might post a thousand. If they post a thousand, I'm getting rich. Not rich, but I'm, I'm making money off them pretty much. I can buy their fur and just flip it. So, yeah. You wanna you want you wanna make sure that you know your prices. So if you put your you put your Yatafer in, oh, 31 copper, something's wrong. Put your logs in. Oh, one silver, that's wrong. You want, to, you want to know your prices. Oh, anything else? Uh, PvP, PvP, PvP. Uh, you want to know where to blockade zones. Outside of Yin, right here, is a very good spot. Here's a very good spot. And outside Cinder Zone is a very good spot. These are, these are you know, down here at the Penis in Marianople. It's a good spot. Basically, this is where you want to pirate at. The... If you see a pirate ship coming at you, despawn your boat. Don't let them blow up your boat. You have to spend money to, to recover it. It's a pain in the butt. But if it's early in the server, you're going to be at here. You won't have a boat for a long time. Someone needs a, a lot of alchemy skill to make that. It's like 20k. And that will not be easy to get, so you have to wait a while. Do not let your boat die early in the server. Do not. Do not. Uh, if you die, if you die in the ocean, maybe you get killed by sea bugs or a pirate and they leave your boat for dead. You know, they just leave your boat there. It'll despawn after 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah. If two people are fighting on the water, yeah, 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 yeah. And you're there, consider not fighting. Just go under the water. They die, the trade pack drops, <laughs> grab it. Easy money. I've done that more than once. Uh, if you steal a pack, you have to turn it in somewhere else. If it's a specialty pack, you cannot break it down. But if it's like a lumber pack, iron, stone, leather, fabric, you can put it on the ground and press G and you will break it down for 90% of the materials it costs to make. So if it costs 100 iron, you get 90 iron back. Not bad. Not bad at all. Last but not least, trading. So when to trade, the best time to trade and do world bosses is when the server comes back up from maintenance. The world bosses all respawn after maintenance. The pirate boss, the kraken, you know, and as well as trading. So when the server comes up, all the trade routes are reset to 130% value. So you maybe right now trading, you know, shit. Let's say, let's say a Dew Stone, which is very common. Dew Stone to Guinness, Guinness Dairy. Again, is very popular. So right now it's probably at about 80%, 90%. But when the servers come up, it's trading at 130. So if you trade then, you get extra gold or guild stars. Well, right now you can't get cross ocean gold, so. Only same continent. Stupid change. Anyways, yeah, so this is my little tips and tricks guide. A little fast, but hopefully you guys learned something from it. Learn some mistakes not to make. You know, it's a. Uh, 
it's alpha. You know, it's it's made for making mistakes. Another big mistake is making a house, a large house early on. Don't do that. Watch my housing guide, my housing guide part two. I'm all about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Twitch.tv slash Igniton. Let me know what videos you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys in our age and beta. Coming in July 17th. Woot woot. I'm old. I can say woot. Good night, guys. Peace.